until now, so much of us considered an impact there, and now we have got more of a solid kind of thing that we can share and be So, uh, what kind of thing you saw in sample that we can be Sometimes we will <coughs> play out the first two hours with the new ball in Australia and New Zealand could be an impact. It's not about getting 20 runs in the first two hours, which is an impact. So even if we are 15 for no loss, it sets you off for a good power play. Especially in Australia and New Zealand, I think the conditions early summer will be challenging with the new ball. The Australia played New Zealand, bold was outstanding, both teams are 40 for 4. So I think initially conditions are going to be challenging. So again, when we talk about impact, it's not the scoreboard, but how we read those conditions and how we adapt. And I think we've got all bases covered with the squad that we've selected that we can read the conditions and make the impact where it's needed. Because you think Cardinals is Iman, and he is still missing, and he's not excluded. How do you see his exclusion? I have had that problem on chat with him. He's a very exciting prospect. He's got great fast hands, uh, very leg side dominated player. But I have given him where he areas. I think one thing we've done really well is communicated with every individual player as to why he's been picked or why he has not been picked. So I think that communication to the player is very important and I think we have done that very well. But he has got the chance to show you his performance because he is playing. We see enough of him. The next, I've got a good eye, so I can <laughs> probably read him. Coach, there is lots of talk about philosophy, uh, philosophy, if he wasn't like uh, philosophy, can you elaborate your ticket to philosophy? Told you, in fact, I want people to play together, I want people to impact the game. Aslam, you are talking about positivity. Aslam, I'm a big big boy in Asia. Sorry? You are talking about positivity. Aslam, I'm a big big boy in Asia. I'm a big big boy in Asia. I'm a So how do you see this throughout the time? Sorry? Aslam, how do you see this? Very good. Very good. One of the rare commodities who can bowl over 140 kilometers, and I think you got to look after people who can bowl over 140 kilometers are a rare commodity in today's world. And if we can do that in all formats of the game, I think it's got to be looked after. You did well in feeling too. What is your observation? I mean, I think he's a great team and he wants to yeah. do well. And that's, and feeling is all about attitude. If you bring the right attitude to the field, and you work hard on that skill. It's I think it's a different skill to batting and bowling. It's directly proportional. The harder you work, the better result. Whereas with batting and bowling, you can work as hard as you want, but you can still have a bad day. But on the field, I think if you put in the work more often than not, you will have a good day, and that's reflected in time class performance. Last three questions. Normal side of him, uh, he can play very good at all. Why not? He can match like a 6 or 7 position. Too early to say. I think I'm going to have a lot more closer look at it. Definitely capable with the bat. Uh, his execution with the ball, his all round ability definitely excites me. Definitely a good prospect, no doubt. Uh, we have seen uh, Musadek playing. Uh, Doing finisher role fantastically in, in Asia. Do you have any other options in the team who can you know, play as a finisher? And what's what's your middle order if you can share your own? Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got, we got Rabi, we've got Nurul, we've got Mosadek, we've got Afif. So we've got all our bases covered with the middle order. I think uh, it's one of the strongest middle orders that Bangladesh can have in this format of the game. And the finisher role, apart from Mosadek, we have any other options. Everybody needs to finish the game. So it's not about uh, whoever gets in has to take that responsibility in fact and take the game deep. And all the names I mentioned to you, I think, uh, are good enough to finish on their own day. Sir, Ashanto plays better cricket in practice than the match. There is a meeting about this cricket after seeing his. Uh, if you practice, after seeing him in practice, a big coach will choose him. Uh, does this happen here? Thank you for the first time. Uh, maybe next press conference I can answer this question. <laughs> 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 is there a clear communication? I'm sure that you spoke now. How did you do it? How did you do it? It's never an 
easy conversation with people who have played. The most capped T20 player in Bangladesh, I think I've got utmost respect for it. And it's, I had to be the bad man to have that conversation. We had to be like, literally it was not me, it was quite a few people who were in that, but I had to be one of them. It was definitely not an easy conversation, but I think it's going to be